front bar squat. This one, if you don't have the mobility, if your client doesn't have enough mobility to get to the bottom position, because that's usually where you would start, is bottom position. If they can't get there with their hips underneath them and they have to be more in this position, then either not a good variation for them, stick to zercher, stick to the safety bar, stick to kettlebell front squats, or you could also add an elevation so they don't have to go that deep. On this one, we usually always use the ramp. We've had a few people to uh, could actually maintain the position without a ramp. So you would start from the bottom, right here, hips underneath you. From this position, you want to be able to push the ramp straight down and come up as a unit versus coming up and going to a hinge. That's where most people will mess it up. And that's where I said this is a really good squat to do for someone that takes cues well. Because if they're not getting the whole position thing and they lose the position, they're not going to feel successful doing this lift. So you start from the bottom, you kind of use the weight of the trap bar to pull yourself underneath and then push through the ramp and come up and then straight down. Those little people here. So you go straight up. 